What's up, everybody? It's Blunt Ghost. Today, I'm going to be telling the story time of how I ran the fade with somebody in the mental hospital. Before I get any deeper into the story time, boys, I'd really appreciate if you guys get the subscribe button. Fuck with the Discord. Fuck with the backup channel, the self-improvement channel. Also, fuck with the merch, boys. I dropped some stickers. I dropped some new hoodies with a fire-ass new design, boys. So go show some love. Also, my bad if the audio's fucked up, like my voice is fucked up because I'm sick right now. And also, I'm just chilling at the park making this video. So there, there might be like a little background noise of like kids fucking screaming and shit but but yeah boys let's just get straight into the story time pretty much this story time takes place when i just turned 15 and yeah boys i feel like i discussed this topic a few different times on this channel but if you guys didn't know already i have like anxiety i have anxiety right like i'd be having fucking panic attacks in school some days i'd be just straight tweaking out of my brain boys yeah that's pretty much what be happening Around this time of my life, I would always be going to my counselor's office because I just couldn't be in class, boys. Like, I couldn't focus because my anxiety was just hitting me too hard. I needed someone to talk to. Yeah, on this particular day, it was first period, and I was just feeling anxious as fuck, boys. But yeah, boys, pretty much when I be getting anxious in class and having, like, a panic attack, it feels like all the air is being sucked out of the room. And fucking, I start getting sweaty. My heart starts beating really fast. It starts getting, like, really hard to breathe. And yeah, boys, that's pretty much what it'd be feeling like. So on this particular day, it was first period in my Spanish class. I was starting to feel these emotions creeping up. As a matter of fact, I didn't start feeling it creeping up in the first period i started to feel it creep up in the very morning when i woke up right boys because i remember i really didn't want to go to school bro like i really really didn't want to go to school it was monday and i was just like fuck this shit bro so i was so i was thinking of like ways to get out of the situation of having to be in class right so i leave the class without telling my teacher i leave my fucking backpack and my computer there and i just walk straight to the counselor's office now the counselor has been new about my anxiety and these panic attacks type shit and how it fucks with my ability to focus in school so to make a longer story short she ended up calling the mental health facility and they ended up taking me in on an ambulance like an hour and a half away from my school pretty much i get sent to this mental hospital i, I was actually there for like four straight days you can't go on a phone there's no laptops there's literally like no electronics other than like cable tv that you can watch but yeah boys i'm in this mental hospital it's regular fucking mental hospital it's like every fucking night all the girls are causing chaos they're screaming they're hitting staff members they're banging on the walls there was a schizophrenic fool who's always trying to fight people he's fucking like he would go up to the staff and tell them that he needs perks because his lips are dry and shit he would just talk about killing people and then there was a fucking russian fool who's from fucking russia and is a, he's in a russian gang bro and the day before i got to the hospital he was like fucking people up like cracking their heads open and breaking their ribs and shit and there's also a black fool who fucked up the schizophrenic fool and the black fool just popped his shoulder out and shit as you guys can imagine by what i'm telling you you guys can visualize a very chaotic type of setting right it's a it's a fucking psych ward boys it's a mental hospital yeah i'm in there for these four days and this story takes place on the very last day i would say or the second to last day now there's this room at the place called the day room and as you guys can imagine that's the room that we go during the day pretty much there's color pencils crayons tv fucking board games like connect four and shit a lot of like coloring sheets and they just keep us in this room for like most of our day we'd probably spend at least like eight hours a day inside of that room we spend a lot of our time in there actually i would say a little more probably like 10 or 11 hours inside of that room maybe even 12 and that's literally all there was to do is just watch tv color fucking coloring sheets crack jokes with the other foos who are in this fucking facility there was only like eight guys but there was literally like fucking 18 girls like that shit was like oh fucking d bro like these bitches were batshit insane but that's besides the point point. and yeah boys so everybody's confined together i obviously made some friends of course they're like kind of fake friends like you're only friends with them because you're in that place with them but yeah i was homies with a couple of the foos in there but one of the foos was just really fucking obnoxious boys like having this fool in that fucking mental hospital with me was like a blessing and a curse because on one hand he would bright up the whole hospital like he'd be cracking jokes making everybody fucking laugh but the curse was also that he hasn't showered in weeks and he smells like straight dog shit like bad like all the staff was straight up just fucking like 
they were spraying for breeze in our rooms. The staff was literally talking shit. Like, we heard them talking shit about him because he smelled fucking horrible. The other bad thing about having that fool in there was he played too much, boys. Like, he'd fucking be poking your belly. He'd be necking you hard. He would push you hard. He would, If you had food, he would smack it out of your hands, bro. He'd straight up just be playing too much. And that shit got to a point where I just couldn't take it anymore, right boys? So we're in the day room and previously a couple hours before this, he was necking me and playing around with me. And I just, in my mind, I really just wanted to swing on him, but I didn't end up doing it, right? So the rest of the day, I'm just mad at this fool. Even though I'm like laughing and shit, I'm still like holding a type of grudge against him because I just felt mad that he kept playing with me like that. My bad for the interruption, boys. We'll get onto the video soon. Before we get any deeper into the video, if you guys fuck with me, if you guys fuck with my content, then I'd really appreciate if you guys go show love to the backup channel and the new channel that I made called Gut Self Help. And also, boys, the merch is finally here, bro. I'll put the link down to everything that I'm talking about in the description. I hope you guys fuck with the designs and the quality. If there's any, like, problems with orders or, like, payments or materials or anything, just comment it down below inside the fucking comment section. If you guys should join the Discord. I'll put the link down in the description. I have a general chat, and I also have a chat where you can just share pictures of your bud your fucking disposables your fucking dab rigs your bongs and also have a private chat for people who want to create stuff or are creating stuff it could be like content creators musicians youtubers fucking twitch streamers if you have a brand if you have a small business or you're an entrepreneur that chat is literally for everybody who just wants to elevate in the world links to everything will be in the description but let's just get right back onto the video then while we're cleaning up the day room taking the crayon crayons off of the floor and shit he necks me i squeeze his fucking belly because that's what he'd always do to me and then he starts like really messing with me like grabbing my shirt and pushing me and shit right boys i wasn't even really thinking i just did it off fucking instinct boys i just threw a straight swing straight to his face and all i can really remember from that boys is i threw a big right swing straight to his face and then i spammed like five punches to his face until i realized that he wasn't punching back like i didn't say this before boys but this fool was like three inches taller than me and probably like he probably had like an extra 40 pounds on me extra 40 50 pounds on me so he's a pretty big guy like bigger than me right so when i punched him in the face i was expecting him to like try to body slam me or like start fucking like really throwing haymakers at my fucking beautiful face right but no i swung at him then i started like punching him in the face and then he was like just ducking down telling me to stop and then i paused for a second and he's just like bro chill please stop and then i remember i threw a left jab and then i threw a right straight at his face and then his fucking his face bounced off the wall and that was the last punches that i threw and one of the therapists was actually watching the entire shit go down and as soon as we like as soon as i stopped punching him in the face one of the other staff members walked in and if you get in trouble in the mental health facility boys it's pretty big like you gotta go through a lot of bullshit so we just decided to play it cool we started like cleaning up the day room acting like nothing happened and then right after that happened the staff sent us to our rooms i was in my room for like 30 minutes and then they sent us back to the other day room and yeah pretty much the fool ended up coming up to me he dapped me up he's like look bro i'm sorry for playing around i didn't mean to fucking like he was just apologizing on some respect shit right boys and yeah that same night the staff ended up moving him into my bedroom and i had like other, i had like three other fools in my bedroom and all night we were all just cracking jokes and shit cracking jokes laughing we were high off some benadryl so it was just a good time right boys and yeah bro that's pretty much the story of how i swung on some food at the mental hospital the psych ward if you guys want more details or story times from this place then let me know down in the comments yeah boys stay connected be yourself stay hydrated fucking go fuck with the merch boys and i'm out peace